nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you. I hope y'all find yourself in great spirits today because I know I find myself in wonderful spirits. Always remember your opinions, your thoughts are always welcome on the comment down below even if we agree to disagree but it's always respect for my end as i always continue to say just because you may be a rock hard fan supporter from anyone i cover don't expect me to be on anyone's side because why i give my opinions and thoughts how i feel and i'm not on no one's side because why we are humans and ain't no need to dick ride anyone so let me get into this commentary now the situation of the drop off i seen the situation of the drop off it was brought to my attention as i seen it and i may say rico had he he popped up in the drop off but this time the drop off was i think escorted by police or in front of the police station or whatever so as i think it had to be cozy right because ain't nobody trying to go to jail but i may say and i'm just going to say this we cannot be hypocrites and say oh lexi should mind her business lexi should lexi should stay out of this lexi should stay out of that and how i feel and i'm gonna continue to feel both rico and lexi should mind their business when it comes to royalty and cj co-parenting at the end of the day because they was not in the room or they was not there when they invested to bring these two beautiful individuals of child children into this world so i feel as i'm gonna state it both rico and lexi should stay out the situation okay another thing if y'all trying to have a peaceful drop off why the fuck every time it's a drop off something going on somebody's recording something like at the end of the day if this is not scripted and this is not you know some bullshit y'all just put an entertainment out there and this is some real life shit why the fuck y'all recording i understand for y'all safety and purposes but if it's for your safety and purposes should it be out of social media or if y'all have to go to court just use the evidence towards court i don't even understand why y'all keep putting this well CJ, why the hell you keep just putting it onto social media? At the end of the day, we understand Rico and CJ does not get along with each other. There's bad blood between those two. The same way as bad blood between Lexi and Royce. We understand that. But they ain't getting nobody nowhere. It's matters just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse before it even gets great. And that's if, if, as if, if it even get great. Because we got all these individual adults acting like immature. All these individual adults clapping on the shit that's going on. All these individual adults thinking it's cool. And then you got her goofy ass brother waving. Why the fuck you waving? <laughs> what? <laughs> why is you waving to the camera? You should just sit there and just get me mugging him. But why is you just waving to the camera? I'm like, Lord Jesus, what is going on out here? And then I went to Facebook. All right. I went to Facebook and I went to CJ. I don't know if CJ controlled that Facebook or he is the head honcho of that Facebook or some of us. That's a fan page. I really don't know. But it was a video that was dropped and I'm going to show clips of it right here. And he's still promoting royalty in that car that, you know, the red car that she has. And I'm trying to say to myself, hmm, CJ, if this is not you controlling it, okay, I can let that slide. But if this is you controlling, why you keep up uploading old stuff between royalty and you? Why you keep uploading old stuff about the car you gave her, whatever? Why? If you over her, you over her. If this is him controlling the situation. If you over her, you're over her. Try to get over her because it's, it's only making you look bad. Like, you just obsessed with her. And that's low-key true. Like, if you just keep on 
Just, just stop it, CJ. Overall, do it for your baby. Stop it. Like, stop it. Okay. He barks at you. She barks at you. You bark right back. But at the end of the day, these kids are seeing all this shenanigan. And if your kids should not be invested into the situation. And now, people had told me that um, I asked on my last video, they said something about Rico. Said so he was teaching the kids how to box. I feel this, and I want to keep it again. My opinions, like I said, y'all all got your own opinions. Y'all can state it down there, whatever. I I don't give me a heart the bitch. I don't get mad. But if <laughs> if you don't want Lexi to touch the baby hair or have anything to do with the baby. I think Rico should get the same treatment as well too. It's only fair. Because at the end of the day, it's going to make matter worse. Because he'll come and say that he's teaching this kid how to box. And everything. Ain't no father want no... I don't know. It, 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 look at the eyes. CJ don't want him touching his son. You don't want Lexi touching. And it's like touching the kid, you know, hair, whatever. And it's like... It's never going to come to a common ground. It's never going to come to a common ground with these individual, like... Question is, is CJ's willing, is Royce willing to like start not now in the long run? Like start a new leaf over of co parents If they're not going to be together, okay, cool. No one's not forcing nobody to be with nobody. If you're not going to be together, but can y'all have a good co parenting? Can CJ, can you just leave stuff out of social media? Because you did this with Nike before. So it's, it's a pattern within you as well too that you have to work on. You understand? You're not a he's not CJ's not a bad person. You can tell he's a genuine soul, a funny soul, a caring soul. You understand? And I give that to him. I don't see Royce as a bad woman as well too. Royce seems like a girl that you know has her own shit she dealing with as well too. I don't see her as a bad so she looks like a genuine person as well too she looks like a caring person as well too but it's like she's just stuck she's just stuck she's stuck with shit she's going through and it seems like she's going through stuff you understand she's not ugly she's a very beautiful girl a very beautiful woman she's not ugly cj is not ugly a very handsome young man you understand so for Anybody to be calling these two individual ugly or, you know, whatever, whatever. They're not. They are not. Maybe, and, you know, in people's eyes, the way they carry themselves, maybe they feel like that makes them ugly. But then, to me, they're not ugly, in my personal opinion. I just wish and hope, and like I said, if this is not no scripted bullshit, because I don't understand why all the time <laughs> going to a, a meetup, it's always something popping off. If it's not, like, I really hope down the line they could just work on themselves right now. Work on yourself. Heal. Heal whatever's broken in y'all. Heal whatever's hurting y'all. So y'all could come to amends to be good co-parenting for the sake of those two twins because those two twins love both of them equally. You know, little CJ and little Daya loves their mommy as well. They love their daddy. In their eyes, they're not, they don't have hate in their blood. You could tell those babies love both individually equally. You understand? And as of right now, they can't, they cry because they're scared. They cry because they're frightened. They cry when it's time to pick up because, you know, like then what's going to happen next and those baby can't talk for themselves they can't finish for themselves i understand you know us talking on them some of us you know we get some clicks we get some views and everything but i'm not going to bash anyone's for i could get more people on my side or more people to and that's not me i could give two flying f who clicks on my shit who watch my shit because i love getting my opinions and thoughts and views on situation i watch on situation i cover it Outside of this, when I turn this off, I go back to my normal life, doing what I got to do, work, support my family whatsoever. But I'm not going to get on here to pretend to be something I'm not and just clap on people that's doing buffoonery things when there are kids involved. From 
Kamari as well love her daddy to the depth of her soul. And I know it hurts her to see her daddy go through the situation. And her daddy got to remain smiling. The same way Royce got to remain smiling for the sake of her other kids. A lot of kids are involved in this situation. And I know what they see their parents hurt, they hurt as well. They get angry as well. They just can't talk about it because they're babies. I just hope overall all these individuals start acting their age and just do what's right for the sake of the baby. And hopefully down the line, the meet up of co-parenting goes very well. If not, then ring that emergency. If y'all really got a case order or whatever, ring that emergency court thing so y'all could get through the situation so it could be handled the proper way because as of right now, somebody's gonna get hurt. Somebody's gonna get hurt. And if CJ, you don't even know if people are following you back to your home, people are plotting you, like you have to be careful careful put your thinking cap on now when you walk these streets you understand put your thinking cap on when you walk these streets because you never know who could pull up and do worst case and you have your daughter there the safety of your safety your daughter's safety and your girlfriend's safety and whoever's around is in your hands as well your life is in your hands something have to give all this hatred for what all this animosity for what Y'all should be working together, getting bags together. But I understand y'all don't want nothing to do with each other. And that's fine. But for the sake of the kids, co-parenting. As I say, both parties have a life, have kids that depends on them. If something happens to one of these parties, the kids are going to feel the effect. No one else. Everybody, life goes on while the kids are still hurting because of the situation that's taking place. I say, if y'all in your 30s, start acting like y'all in your 30s, start thinking wisely. If you have to get the court involved or this to just stop all the bullshit and everything go back to normal, then I guess that's what it has to be. But I guess for the love of money and fame, people just do anything nowadays. And this is my honest opinion, and this is how I feel. I feel like, was, you know, Lexi and what's his name, Rico, should stay the fuck out of the situation. If they're not harming CJ, if they're not harming royalty, you understand, know stay out of it and let these two co-parent the way they're supposed to co-parent. And that's my God, that is my honest opinions and thoughts on this whole situation. But to them, y'all could go down in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about this meetup with Rico and how the situation played out. Are you just feeling like I'm feeling like already bring peace and unity instead of destroying destruction you know and hurting one another for god knows what or y'all just don't give a fuck y'all just here for the drama <laughs> y'all could be honest in the comments down below as i say i'm a no one side not royalty not cj i'm equally in the middle and seeing from both parties that's about it but your opinions and thoughts are always welcome in the comments down below. Even if we agree to disagree, it's all love and respect for my end.